Okay, we're just going to do a quick video regarding the USB port on the Rad Roby here. The USB port that's located on the bottom of the display on the Rad Roby here. And there's been some question on um, can it charge a device and how to get it to work. So first, this port is not really meant for charging. It's there for either maintenance or it could just be simply part of the housing of this device for future proofing or, or whatever it may be. So, but you can get a charge if you need to. So what the first thing you have to do is you have to plug in what you want to charge first, which I assume would be a phone, while the bike is off. The bike has to be off before you, um, and then you plug it in. Once we turn the bike on, then that comes on, and now I have a meter on here. You see that's powering up now. That actually shows how much power is being delivered. I'm using, I'm using an iPhone 10 right now. Um, so right now, is, uh, this is the voltage and the amperage. And you'll also notice that the display on the rover now shows USB in the wattage area, indicating that some of the power is, is being diverted to the USB port. Now, how much power? Well, this is voltage, this is amperage, in order to get wattage, we're gonna multiply the two together, and we'll look in two and a half watts. You know, so just to give you an idea, the iPhone, it comes with a five watt charger. Anything under five watts is gonna be very tough. Once again, this is voltage and amperage, multiply together, get your wattage. Um, it's not delivering much. <clears throat> now, what's also interesting is that with it plugged in, if I shut the bike off, it still delivers power. So, you know, if you do do this, you, you know, I guess given this very slow charge rate, you can just leave it plugged in maybe overnight or for a few hours and get some usefulness out of it. But it could be a question if some devices would even accept this, this minimal of a wattage. Um, you know, the, and I, you know, a modern device might ignore a small amount of wattage like that and just not even accept the charge. The bike has been powered off for about 10 minutes now and uh, it's still delivering a charge. You know, I'm not going to take it any longer than this. You know, maybe more important of a note would be that you know, you're slowly discharging the main battery, so you may not want to just leave something plugged in here. You know, just for comparison, this is a typical iPhone charger here. This is usually what comes with most iPhones. Um, I'm going to plug an iPhone 10 into it using our meter. And now we see we're getting 5 watts. Because once again, if we multiply volts times amps, you get your wattage and now we're getting the full five watts.